So to start a project, you'll want to access your Canvas page. To access your Canvas page, you can do it a couple different ways. One, from the menus up here in the upper left, the menu dropdown, you can switch over to Canvas, and that's going to take you to your Canvas or your main design working area. If I go back to Home for a second, I can also select New Project over here, and that'll take me to my Canvas as well as new project down here under my projects that will also take me to my canvas or select on an existing project that you've already started. You can also come up here and go to my projects and you can see that that switches you to your canvas where then you can select your project that you already created. You can also, now that I'm on the canvas page, just simply select on this new button over here to start a new project. So multiple different ways to get into your canvas and start your project. Once on the canvas page, you have a couple different panels or sections. The section over here to the left are really your design tools. So these are the tools that you're going to use to uh, import images, upload images, uh, create text and or shapes. Once you have one of these features within your design space here in your, your working area or your grid or your graph you see here, you will then be able to use the edit bar at the top to modify that object, whether it's a piece of text or shape or image, you'll be able to do certain edits to it depending on what type of object it is. There's tools to align the objects, arrange the objects, flip them, and then be more precise in the sizing of your objects using these tools that you'll see here that are slightly grayed out you'll see those highlighted as we put in objects into our project. Over on the left is where you have your layers. And when you have your layers is when you add an object like text would be on a layer, the images and shapes would be on another layer. Once you have that data, then you can either group objects, ungroup objects, duplicate, delete, as well as have more editing tools down below like slicing and welding and We'll get into each one of these here in the uh, next few videos. So we're going to break these videos into small little pieces um, so you can go to um, each one and easily find what you want the next time you come back and uh, need to remember how to do something.